Eduard, uh, uh Wedeman? Yeah. Oh, Webb. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. And Stewart or something? The Q. Q. Barber? Okay. Um, Alright, so, um, like he said yesterday, my name's Jake Yost. Um, I coach wrestling at Cleveland High School, which is like 30 minutes up the road, up 75. Um, and I, I wrestled here at UTC. I graduated like 2007. Um, today we're going to work on some uh, leg defense from bottom. Okay, leg defense from bottom. Um, so this stuff that we're going to work on today, uh, our team, we work on this every single day. It's something that we, uh, you know, truly believe in. Um, we wrestled in the state duels finals, I think it was 2013, and uh, we beat a team from Nashville. 78 to 4. So we pinned 13 of their guys. Pinned 13 of their guys, okay? Eight of those pins were off of this stuff. Okay? Um, it's not going to get you in trouble. It will take a little while to figure out and understand, but the first time you shot a high crotch, you didn't stop shooting high crotches because you got scored on. You just got a better high crotch. You know, you worked on it and got better at it. So this is going to take some time. It's something you're going to have to go home and work on. Um, but it can be done, okay? So now, the reason that people are so successful um, with legs from top is because they put the guy on bottom in an uncomfortable, awkward position that doesn't feel good, um, which enables them to put the guy in the back because he doesn't want to be there, right? Does that sound familiar? Who's been in that situation? Who's been under that situation? I know I have, okay? Now, if you follow these rules and these concepts and these ideas that I'm about to explain to you, you can reverse that. That's the whole goal of what I'm showing you, okay? You're going to put yourself in a more comfortable position and you're going to put him in an uncomfortable position. Does that make sense? So you follow me with the idea here? Okay. Um, fine? Okay. So, just like anything else, just like any of the other guys will say, probably, um, you got to have a good partner with this. Okay, so I'm gonna help you by explaining to you what I want the top guy to be doing throughout this so you understand. If you don't know, you should ask, okay? Don't understand, ask. Because if we don't have a good partner doing it the right way, you're not going to get the right feel, okay? So, we're going to start out by doing this. Most guys on top throw their right leg, so we're going to throw the right leg, okay? And most guys aren't going to do the cross body, all that kind of stuff, okay? We can get to what to do in that situation. All this stuff will work for that. You just got to adjust yourself just a little bit. Okay? So we're not going to go cross body. We're going to go just straight shallow leg. We're going to go right leg in. Left leg's going to hook right here behind this ankle. Your hands are going to go right here holding on to this guy. Okay? So the first mistake the top guy's going to make is when I, when I show you what you're going to do from bottom, he's going to sit to his butt. Top guy's going to go like this. Do you think that's going to help the bottom guy very well if that's what you do? No, you got to hold on to him and act like you're really trying to wrestle. Okay? Alright, so, now. Who in here has a pretty good idea when they're about to wrestle somebody if that guy's going to throw legs? Most of the time we do, and it comes from, I've seen the guy wrestle before, my coach said, oh my gosh, this guy's a leg grinder, or he's a big, tall, lanky guy, and you just assume he does. All these reasons, most of the time, we know if it's going to happen. We know if the guy does that, okay? Not all the time, but a lot of the time, okay? Now, what is the first thing high school guys go to as soon as they throw the leg? Who's been in this situation? Okay, bring it in. Okay. First thing they go to all the time, they go straight to that power half. Straight to that power half, right? Would you agree? Y'all are sleeping a little bit this morning. Um, 
Okay, so we know it's coming. So we know pretty much the guys that are throwing legs shouldn't be too much of a surprise. And we know right where they're going when they get to it. Okay? So as soon as the guy throws a leg, I've got to be sitting into the leg, sitting him to his butt, and I have got to be getting my elbows in tight. I can't be like this. Because as soon as I do this, they're going straight to that power half and they're going to be wrenching on that shoulder. So i got to go straight here and sit into the leg. Okay, so it'll look like this. He's going to be a good partner, just like we talked about, throwing that leg, grabbing right under here. So as soon as it comes in, i got to be sitting and I've got to be getting right to here. Okay, if he backs away, if he backs away, what am I in? What am I in? My stance. We talk about stance and positioning all the time from neutral as coaches. And then you know what we do when we get on bottom? Us as coaches screw it up and we never talk about it. You have got to hold good position from here. If we're going to flip the script on them and make them uncomfortable and not be uncomfortable in this position, you have got to hold good position. I don't know where, I can't see the clock in there, so I don't know how much time is left, but we're, we've got 60 or 70 minutes to work in here, and we are gonna spend more than half of the time working on positioning from this because the positions are way more important than the moves. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so all we're gonna do this first thing is we're gonna have this guy come and load up on us right. We're not gonna go like this and put our head down because we know what's the first thing coming. Power half. We're not going there. We're going elbow straight to our sides and we're sitting into the hip. Okay? Now, once I get to here, you've got three rules you have to follow. Three rules you have to follow. I'm always on one butt cheek. He's always on two. And I've got to get my head under his chin. If I can stay in a good position and follow those three rules, it's not going to be uncomfortable. Okay? I start turning the, the comfort level around on him. I start flipping that script. Okay? So, I've gotten to this position. He's on two right now. So, what do I do if he's not on two? What do I do if he's on one? i got to get him to two, right? I can't turn into him like this, because where does that put me? On two. I've got to slide across his body. Use your foot, and you can even use your hand to push. Okay, I'm here, i got to slide across his body. Pull myself down, get my head under his chin. I'm on one, he's on two. Okay, so do we understand kind of what that beginning process looks like? Let me show it one more time. This is super important, guys. Okay, he's a good partner. Remember, I'm going elbows in. I'm sitting to my side. I'm pulling myself down, getting under that chin. When I pull down, I can't let my elbows fly, otherwise what's coming? Power half, okay? And I gotta make sure, I should be able to feel. It's a feel thing. I should be able to feel if he's on two. If I feel him sliding off of it, I gotta get back across his body and get him on both, okay? So that's all I want you working on for right now. He's already already starting to feel uncomfortable, okay? So, in this position, this is, this is why he's more uncomfortable than I. It is so much easier to move when I've got both feet here and I'm on one butt cheek. His leg's in, so this leg is elevated. Now I've got him on two butt cheeks and he's holding right here, so he's already starting to be, begin to be uncomfortable, okay? The reason I'm telling you guys this is because I'm not the type of coach that's going to come in here and tell you this is how you do it and and that's because I said so. I want you to understand. I want you to get it. Okay? You're more likely to do it the right way if you understand the concept of why we do it that way. Make sense? Okay, so do we know what we're doing? Take your time. Go slow. Don't worry about going fast. Got me? All right, one, two. You got a question?